and NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Good mm. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday, mm. you said 94, 95% chance yeah, Kawhi see. signs with the Lakers. <laughs> Where are we today? Higher, mm. lower, the same? Well, look, these things are always strange because you always have to leave room for a guy can just change his mind at the last minute. Especially you know, just this like, guy. Well, DeAndre Jordan, remember a few years ago, was, mm -hmm. was in Dallas, mm -hmm. was headed to Dallas and ends up staying with the Clippers. But all that said, barring a last second change of heart, Kawhi Leonard will be a Laker. Mm -hmm. I, I'm actually, I've been told either today, maybe this evening, or tomorrow he'll make an announcement mm. that he's joining the Lakers. Mm. He, you know, he obviously wants to meet. <laughs> he, he obviously wants to meet with the Wait, Raptors time out, first. Time out just a second. This man predicted by 6 p.m. yesterday. Yeah, I know. So that's off. <laughs> oh wait, we passed that time. He's gonna oh, predict by yeah. 6 p.m. every day. At the end of the day, what we want? We want his lame at the bottom of this. This right here. That's mm. all we want. The mm. bottom of the contract, if we get Kawhi... Don't read the fine print. <laughs> don't, worry, don't even worry about that. Mm. We'll talk about that later, Kawhi. Mm. Just put your name on the dotted line. Yeah, I mean, uh, people I've, t I've talked to close to this situation would be shocked if he doesn't go to the Lakers. Mm. Do we think he has met with the Clippers yet? Yeah, he met with them yesterday. You sure? That's what I'm told. Okay. Now, I was told, I, I was told before the meeting... He was going to meet with them out of respect to keep his word that he was, you know, had talked about meeting with them before. You don't like to hear that, Skip. But Wait, that it was likely to tell word. them. Yeah, he But it was likely to tell Toronto, them that. Right? Yeah, and he's going to meet with Toronto. Okay. It, but it was likely that he was going to tell the Clippers in the meeting, I'm not staying. Now, I don't know what happened in that meeting. I haven't heard anything since then. But that's what I was told going in. Okay, so Toronto's front office is here. They're waiting in I'm the wings. So, I, I believe he's going to meet in L.A., with okay. all the teams that he's meeting. Okay. So we we don't know what the outcome of the Clippers I don't think meeting the was, right? No. Okay. Well, I'm he's sure look, was... he's going to the Lakers. Really? Okay. Like I said, barring, <laughs> barring the last it. second change of heart, mm. I mean, you never know what could happen, but it, all indications are that this is essentially done. Mm. Oh, it's a done? Yeah, thing. done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, Skip Bayless, this ain't a John Q situation. Mm. There will be no change of heart. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We got this one in the back. I don't even want to talk. I want you to talk because I see the I, I see the, I see the frustration. I don't, your, frustration. I I don't see, care because you know what's I, gonna I happen. Think it's gonna be you, <laughs> just beautiful to watch. Three guys who are often hurt trying to make it through 82. Well, games. LeBron's not often hurt. Yeah. Well, he was. One last season. season. Yeah, you take one. You take after yeah. 16 years, the man. Yeah, they're all gonna get 17. their load management. Yeah, okay. You're 17. Smoking more cigars, drinking more <laughs> wine. All of a sudden, you know, you have to keep posting pictures. I'm working out. He posted one today on the set. He had to set. A, yeah, he had to set. Right all yeah. he has to do is run point. Don't That's tell all he me. Has to just do. show me Just run next point. Year. No, no, yeah. we, we gonna show you. It's easy. He's in semi-retirement mode now. There you go. See why you keep okay. up with the semi-retirement? I don't think so. I think he's coming out hard next Ooh. year. And I think what I'm told. Look at look for guys like obviously Andre Iguodala mm. if he's bought out by Memphis, Alec Burks, mm. Kyle Korver, Jeff Green, <gasps> Danny mm. Green, if he doesn't get a better offer elsewhere. Uh. Maybe a Jared Dudley. I think they should bring back JaVale McGee. Mm. Oh, yeah. One person told me they weren't going to. Another person told me they, they're going to look at him. Mm. And obviously, Rondo. Mm. So they, if I'm them, they just got to go out and get shooting. Maybe J.R. Smith. Go get some shooting mm. around those guys. Mm. And I think, I don't know that they're going to do this. I think Corver should come off the bench. Mm. I mean, not Corver, uh, Kuzma. Okay. Because then he'll get more, you know, opportunities action and yeah. opportunities in that, as that lead guy, mm. that second unit. Mm. So let's step back and look at how <laughs> Kevin Durant played his free agency because he knew how to play the game the way oh. it is now played. This guy, number two, and his agent, Uncle Dennis, had no idea how to play it, and they misplayed it from the start because all of this should have been done last week. Kevin Durant did all of his due diligence, all of his homework, all of his ducks were in the row 45 minutes before the start of free agency because nobody pays any attention to, to tampering anymore. Nobody cares. You just, <laughs> just, they need to just get rid of it. Just get rid of it because... Everybody had all their meetings. Kevin had his meeting with the Knicks, had his meeting with the Nets, had done his homework. 
call, I assume he called number two just to ask about the Clippers. Are you interested in this? And I'm sure number two said, man, I don't know. I'm in Barbados. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not even thinking about this because he was in Barbados. It looked like. And there was something wrong with that. You know? He should okay. have been in the Barbados. Okay. It, th what's wrong with it is you can maneuver and make your team better. If you've already made your choice early before the 6 p.m. opening of free agency, you can, you, the dominoes can fall your way a lot easier. And now it's all in hindsight. You're scrambling to throw together these old X pieces, these misfit parts. They ain't no misfits. Yeah. But here, here's the thing, Skip. Mm -hmm. Kawhi Leonard, first of all, played longer than everybody else. He won the finals. Yes. Kevin Durant, I mean, technically played in the finals, but you know, he really didn't play in the finals. So he and everybody else had time to figure out what they wanted to do weeks longer than Kawhi. Look at everybody else in the finals. This they either stay life. with their it own team. You, you no. celebrate he, for a day just, and then you no, get no, back no. to No, you don't celebrate for a day. Yes, and I do. would criticize Nick Saban, any of these guys, enjoy the victory. Nick Saban? He's not going anywhere. No, I'm saying a to. Nick Saban who doesn't, is it, okay. doesn't seem able he's to start, enjoy he winning. But how how he recruiting this, the next day. Enjoy yourself. How about this, Skip? The difference between Kawhi and KD and Kyrie, mm -hmm. they had made their mind up at the beginning mm -hmm. of the year they were leaving. Mm -hmm. Kawhi didn't know what he was going to do. He didn't know what was before him. Mm -hmm. He didn't know whether he was going to... Am I? Because remember, he got thrust there. Mm -hmm. KD had already... Been, we were already talking about it. KD leaving. Mm -hmm. Kyrie. Kyrie talking about, well, I would love... To, remember, he got up before that fanfare. I would love to stay. I would love to resign if you'd mm -hmm. have me. Kyrie was already leaving. Mm -hmm. He had... Kawhi hadn't made up his mind yet. I mean, it's very, can you imagine mm -hmm. the tug that he's feeling? I win the finals. I win the finals. I win the finals MVP. And I'm going to have to tell this team that Stop did everything it. for me. But this here, is the here, whole future. Stop it. The, I'm, not no, here, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. There's this thing called respecting the process and respecting your suitors. And you have to do it with class and basketball character. This guy doesn't have a lot of that. The Clippers were in this from the start. They have been planning for a year to make this pitch to that guy. And this all needed to have been done well before 6 p.m. on Sunday night, Eastern time, because you deserve, they deserve better respect from this guy. How did Kevin Durant play the Knicks? He told them well before 6 p.m., I'm out. I'm going to the Nets. They knew. Not well they, before. Well, he an did. An hour before. Okay. Well, an hour before is a long time before. Yeah, everybody was here. I okay. talked to the Knicks right before that, okay. and they thought, I think he's staying in Golden State. And then, then they found okay. out All right, right but after they that. had plenty of time to readjust and go to plan B. The Clippers are screwed thanks to this guy blowing the, the process of how you're supposed to play this game. They had no he doesn't owe, if, if, if he doesn't go to the he doesn't owe the Clippers anything. He, he owes what does them. He owe them? He, he owes them an answer before 6 p.m. No, he he did. first of all, he hasn't given an answer yet. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't owe them anything. And and you talking about scrambling for these guys? At, once they sign Kawhi, everybody's a minimum guy. So there's no Seth Curry. They're not getting Seth Curry. He got $8 million from Dallas. He couldn't have got that from the Lakers. Okay, if, if Kawhi had told them on Sunday. What do you think the Clippers could have done if one hour before 6 p.m., number two had informed them, I'm sorry, you guys are out? Then what could they have done? A I, whole if, lot. If I'm Kawhi Leonard, I don't, I'm lot. not concerned about the Clippers if I'm not going there. Okay. Right. Should he be? No. There's a thing I'm called sorry. karma. What karma. Karma, what's your karma for with yeah. him? Did he get yeah. karma this year? Yeah. When he karma. left, you you think he left San Antonio in, yeah. a, in an untoward fashion. It, it, How untoured. karma work out this flat year? Out quit on it him. Did did I, tell you, I told you basketball crime paid. It paid. <laughs> uh, yeah, karma sometimes worked out good just things happen it. to bad guys. No. He's a bad guy. He's, he's, bad guy. he's a bad he's guy. No, he's one of the worst guys. He didn't want to play in San Antonio. That's it. That makes him a bad guy? Yeah, he wanted to out. He did. So, okay, so what did there are no, he ways didn't quit. To do it. Yeah, no, he, he did. didn't quit. He but, did too. But I want you to stop Flat saying. Out quit. I want you to stop saying because he didn't tell the Clippers by six. First of all, you, they're not supposed to have any communication until oh, six. Stop. So you're he not supposed to respect the, the rules. Yeah. Respect the oh, rules of the league. That's what we you do. You just said there I'm, were no rules. No, there there are okay. rules in place. But Nobody else respects them. He, he respected them. You know what? His name's now going to be Mud in two franchises. No, there ain't going to be no Mud. San Antonio and Clippers. Every one of them, what including the Spurs, the was still taken yeah, back. You guys you know don't that. care because you love LeBron. And so LeBron's going <laughs> to get his look, help. I, I don't care where he goes. Mm.
I mean, I, I, if he went to the, I thought all year he was going to the Clippers. Mm. I think for a competitive balance sake, I'd prefer him to go to the Clippers because I think you'd have 10 teams next year that could win it. Mm. But Well, if he had hey, his guts, he'd go to the Clippers. No, he got, well, he got he, guts. He, he, he got, oh, you, saw, you saw those guts? Yeah, that game that. seven? Mm. Game winner? The only one in NBA history? It was the luckiest shot Good. in the history it of the playoffs. Went. You know it, it and I know went. it. I don't care if You it know it, and I know it. You both know it. I don't care if a, a genie shot has never gone flew in out like that. and just carried yeah. the ball into yeah. the rim. I don't rim. care if a fly pass it in. Let me see. I'm going to shoot this short and let it hit the side of the rim. Yeah. And it's going to go in. Yeah, with it. Because I make a lot like that. I practice that shot. But I want you, you, to, stop I I want you to stop saying that he owes the Clippers, yeah. he owes Toronto. He yeah. don't let anybody Yes, you do in this process. No, he doesn't. It's music. Musical chairs, and they're going to stop, and everybody's going to get left out if you don't do it first. You pull well, the here's chair, the thing, Skip. Uh, look, who were the Clippers getting? They didn't want Jimmy Butler. But let's think about it. With they didn't slots, want, they didn't want Jimmy Butler. KD was going well, with Kyrie. I don't know Kyrie. that they didn't want him. I do know. I mean, I've been told they didn't want Jimmy Butler. They would have okay. taken him to, if they could get Kyrie or, K, get, or, I mean, or Kawhi or KD now. or something. But KD and Kyrie were going to Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Clay was staying in Golden State. Like of the big names, who else were That's they? That's it. There were no. There That's was no it. For them. I could start they were all in on all kinds well, you still of can. JJ Reddicks. Well, go ahead, mix and match. You could have had JJ Reddick. You yep. could have had him. Yep. Go get him. Huh? Bogdanovich. You could have got him. Uh, Maybe right. they maybe they wild him. Like I said, I haven't been updated on what happened last night at the meeting. Maybe uh -huh. maybe Doc maybe. and Jay West, yeah. the logo. I don't know. I don't Steve think so. Ballmer. But yeah. What's Steve Bob gonna say? Magic say, look here. You mm. want some Kawhi? You want some Kawhi coffee houses? I'm, I'm glad you brought him up <laughs> because <laughs> it, would you swallow this from from Mr. Laker, the number one Laker, the ambassador for the Lakers, who quit on the Lakers, walked out the back door before a game. Not the front door. Yeah, I think he walked.